Hello everyone and welcome back to our Python uh, course. Uh, for this lecture we're going to talk about for loops. And for loops are actually very enjoyable and very fun. So it's going to be the first in what we're going to learn in loops. So for is an iteration. In general a loop is something that is a cycle. So it keeps on repeating over and over again. That's a loop. But a for loop is an iteration, meaning it goes through a finite number of elements. And for is mostly used in lists because you are going through each element of a list. It's used basically for a data type where you know when the loop is going to stop. So it's like you know how many um, elements a certain data type you're iterating through has and you know when exactly it will stop but the thing is a for loop is useful when you want to probably mutate the list or you want to find out something within the list so we'll actually do some um, examples right now so let's say you want to add one to each element of a given list which is one two three four five and six so you actually need to iterate through the whole list in order to add one to each element. So let's say our first condition is for item and list. Now item is our keyword and you can just call it anything. You can say for item, for thing, for object, it doesn't matter. It's a variable name. It's just a random variable name. So when I start, it's for item and list. And I can say item equals to item plus one. This condition here, or this statement, is very different from what you learn in mathematics because it's saying item, let's say your item was three. So you're saying three equals to three plus one. That's how you do it in math. But how can three equals to four? It's basically saying item, so that's your variable name, you are going to change that into its original value, which is 3 plus 1, so it will be 4. This item here does not equal to 3. You are assigning 4 now to item instead of 3. You can do it in a simpler way in Python, where you can just say item plus equals to 1. It is a copy-paste thing of the same statement here. It is exactly the same. Before I touch on while loops, I want to do um, multiple examples with for loops. So <clears throat> let's say I have a list called Delta, where I have one, two, four, six, seven. And let's say I want to create a list with only odd numbers from our given list here. So I can say new list is equal to an empty list. I'm assigning an empty list to our variable new list. And then now all I have to do is just iterate through delta. So for item in delta, <clears throat> and then I can say if. Now here's, here's a very interesting uh, part because you can use um, if statements within for loops. This is a very special um, thing in Python. So I can say if item percent two equals equals to one. I bet you're all saying, whoa, 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 what's going on? What's happening right now? When you say item percent two, that means what is your remainder after dividing by two? So any items remainder after dividing by two can be either a zero or a one. A zero means it is even, a one means that it is odd. This is a, some part of um, discrete mathematics and also part of calculus. So if you're saying if item percent two equals equals to one, that means if your item is basically an odd number. So I can say new list dot, should I use append or extend? Well, last time we talked about this, we said append is used for numbers, or just adding a, um, a data type that's simple. So dot append item. 
So I exit the for loop. I don't need to use an else statement because we still want our for loop to keep, keep on iterating. So I can just say print new list. Well, let's see what we will have. One and seven. Why? Because one and seven are our only odd numbers in this list. It's pretty interesting, right? 